unsolved crimes newspaper as a response to Cavalier civil society organization within the framework of a struggle against religious extremism presents. There's this odd phrase called margin of appreciation, which basically means that the original members were allowed to do anything they wanted in terms of regulating religion. James Richardson. Foundation Professor of Sociology and Judicial Studies. Director of Judicial Program, University of Nevada, Reno. Would you mind telling please what is a sect, destructive cult, and what is their goal? Are they scientific concepts? I've sent you some materials that demonstrate that I do not think they're scientific concepts. I view them as uh, what I would call a social weapon to use against groups that you do not like. Uh, they're part of an effort to exert social control over unpopular groups or groups that someone in a position of power does not like. There are many incidents of defamation and slander against individualist and organization including commercial and non-religious ones, believing them as a sect or a cult without any reason. In your opinion, why are they doing it? If you can successfully label a group or an organization yes, as a no. sect or a cult, you have achieved a, a huge amount of power over them and the, the right, uh, in quotes, the right, to exert social control over them uh, and, and do terrible things to them. If, if uh, a, a person is a member of a re regular religious organization that is accepted as a religious organization, then they can exert their rights to freedom of religion, which is a human right. Uh, but if you can say this is not a religion, it is a sect or a cult, then it doesn't qualify for those protections and you can do anything you want to to them treat them badly, beat them up, uh, you can even kill them and some people will think that's just okay because they were after all a member of this terrible group. It's as bad as being called a child molester in a way. Well, if someone says you're a, sec a member of a sect or a cult, how can you prove you're not? Uh, it's a, you, you can make your arguments as, as you, some of you have been trying to do, but uh, it's once that label is put on you, if the media accepts it, starts printing it, the general public reads the media, so you're, you're very handicapped in defending yourself if that label is placed on you. What is the historic role of Dworkin in manipulation policy on labeling non-religion organization as destructive cult and sex? And Dworkin has played a major role in that with his writings and his uh, statements, his activities. But he, he was being sued personally, but everyone understood he was representing the Orthodox Church. He, he became a leader in this uh, coming together of the Russian Orthodox Church with some very conservative nationalistic politicians in Russia. I, I think it's a, in the long run that history will not remember him well and that the church will be criticized in future historical treatments for giving him the free reign that they have given him. Uh, do you think that such a product as Dvorkin is a big mistake of Russian Orthodox Church? I think in the long run it is a big mistake. Uh, my own view is that the Russian Orthodox Church would be much better served if it would try to figure out what the people need and want and respond to those needs instead of simply trying to stifle any kind of competition.